Hello, I'm Angela Watting, General Counsel at the Pennsylvania Medical Society. 2017 is an important year in healthcare, as many physicians are transitioning to value-based care payment models. A resource for Pennsylvania physicians to make this transition is PA Med's Practice Options Initiative, or POI for short. Joining us to discuss the POI and how it could benefit physicians is Dr. Jan Sidorov. Welcome. Thank you. Dr. Sidorov, please explain why PA Med started the POI and how it will potentially benefit members. The Medical Society started the POI primarily on behalf of Pennsylvania's patients. Uh, there is ample evidence in the scientific literature that shows that physician-led practices are uh, very able and capable of providing high-value care to patients. Uh, one of the challenges for physician-owned practices is that they oftentimes don't have the resources to be able to measure it as well as document it. The Practice Op Options Initiative, I think, will build on their success that they've already demonstrated and increase value for patient care and increase access. It's a, it's a matter of uh, uh, freeing up the resources necessary for the docs to do their job. Wonderful. Now, this project will be managed through PA Med's for-profit subsidiary. Dr. Sidorov has been hired as a new president and CEO of our subsidiary. Congratulations. Thank you. Dr. Sidorov, tell us a little bit about yourself and what drew you to the organization. Uh, for the last few decades, uh, I've been involved in looking at uh, and performing research in and uh, being a physician leader in and uh, a consultant and, uh, and other roles in advancing uh, population health strategies for healthcare entities across the country. Uh, during that whole time, I've been a member of the Pennsylvania Medical Society and had the pleasure of serving on the Pennsylvania Medical Society Board of Trustees. And I was there in the Pennsylvania House of Delegates when the Practice Options Initiative was passed unanimously by Pennsylvania's physicians. It was a very, very exciting time, and I thought to myself, if I can help in any way, I need to let uh, my colleagues in the, in the Pennsylvania Medical Society know about that. Uh, to my surprise and pleasure, um, one of the things uh, that came up as an option in terms of a role for me is applying for the CEO job, which I was happy to do in December, and by January I started working here. Wonderful. Definitely a historic event, and we're very, very happy to have you on board. Thank you. Now, the POI will eventually create several clinically integrated networks, possibly later this year, but the first services that the POI will focus on are macro, or it's macro readiness. What is macro, and what types of services can you offer to the practices to help them comply? MACRA is a law that was passed by Congress in 2015. Uh, MACRA is an acronym. It stands for the Medicare Access and CHIP Reauthorization Act. Correct. MACRA for, MACRA for short. Um, unlike the Affordable Care Act, it was passed by strong uh, majorities from both ends of the political spectrum and signed into law by then-President Obama. Mm -hmm. um, it... it its purpose is to unlock value in the Medicare fee schedule so that the standard Part B Medicare payments will be increased or decreased according to how much quality mm -hmm. and other performance improvement activities can be documented by physicians. So what I talked about before in helping physicians document the quality that they're already delivering, uh, what we're looking at are solutions for physicians in Pennsylvania to be able to access a resource a turnkey resource where they can provide exactly that type of quality on behalf of their patients. Um, the income uh, uh, implications are not inconsiderable, mm -hmm. and we believe that by helping physicians access that additional resource, they'll be able to not only increase quality for patients, but increase access to patient care. Wonderful. Definitely a heavy lift, but we are assured and very confident that with you leading the charge and the staff that we have on board that this initiative will be very successful. Thank you for joining us. We encourage you to learn more at PMED's website. You can also contact us with your questions by using the email and phone number on the screen.